This is super cool. So with the commander, I'm not sure what her rank was. She is talking with Kirk about the characteristics that a captain needs to have. And she's expect, yep. she's anticipating that he's feeling lonely because it's hard to be a captain. Mm -hmm. It isn't uncommon, you know, to want to leave, even for a captain. There's no relative direction in the vastness of space. There's only yourself, your ship, your crew. It's easier than you think to get lost. Super cool. I really like this. I really like this because Kirk is almost always portrayed as just like gung-ho and, and mm -hmm. we'll, we'll jump into the problem, we'll solve it later. I mean, literally is look before you leap. And so here on this, from part way through this five-year mm -hmm. mission, he's encountering some loneliness, some maybe, maybe not mental health issues at that level, but he's having some, mm -hmm. he's having a lot of time for introspection. And, and that's right, because as the captain of the ship, who can he hang out with? Especially Spock and Bones, because mm -hmm. they're even though they're subordinate to him, they're they're his high up command structure, right? And this is after earlier in the film when they showed other people having flirty fun and and forming romantic relationships. But Kirk can't do that. Like this is a part of his humanity that he, he can't engage in at all because now that's your underling. Like that there's there's first there's power power, power issues, and then also he can't be in the command of the ship if he's if he's unconsciously or even consciously thinking about like, oh, my girlfriend's in deck seven or whatever, right? And so this is very cool. This is very cool because you need to have the right personalities for the right jobs. And we've seen in Star Trek in the 2000, I think it was nine, and then also in Into Darkness, this version of Kirk is very good at look before you leap. He's very good at take command, make decisions, and go into battle. Um, but for the five-year mission, maybe he just doesn't have the right personality for it. Yeah, so it seems like they gave Kirk the five-year mission, but they shouldn't have, they being Starfleet Command, because right. he's looked before Leap, he's a womanizer, he likes the social life, he likes yeah. being captain, he likes to be very competent, but maybe a five-year mission out to the frontier is for somebody else, and he needs to be closer to home with lots of shore leave, that kind of thing. But so, look, for, look Before You Leap is great because... They're going out into deep space, which is a just a little lurk before you leap. But does he have that internal fortitude? Maybe he needs the short leave, which is which not not a bad thing. Like that's okay. Not, not a bad thing. It's just the right personality. Would, yeah. So he would be deployed closer to the Federation planets yeah. as a captain, not necessarily exploring. But just just not just not deep exploring like that. Where do you right. get that that real loneliness for extended periods yeah. of time? Where yes. who can he confide in, confide in with, who can he talk to, mm -hmm. on basically McCoy and Spock? Mm -hmm. Do you think a a captain and crew that goes on a long term mission in and from Starfleet, they need to have like, be married and have families and stuff that come with them, so that they're they're like, we're not looking for social life, we're not looking for shore leave, like, this is our life that we've built, and so. We're going to go explore. It's peaceful. We're not looking for danger. So our families are along for the ride. And so we're all healthy and happy. So that's, that's an interesting question. So how would having a family with you affect your behavior as a Starfleet officer? I would imagine that you would experience less loneliness because you got your yep. family there with you. But also, I think you would be less willing to take risks. Yep which is maybe good for deep space exploration. You know, just go out there, check it out, write down anything mm -hmm. interesting, and come back and leave, leave yeah. quickly, right? Because you're out and you're yeah. not supported. The bad side of not taking risk is there may be some risks that you want to take while you're out in space. And then you would have a crew that's averse to that. Um, pros and cons. Maybe there's a right balance in there. Right. I mean, at some point, somebody's going to have to put their life on the line. If it's exploration, you are more risk averse than some sort of gung ho military squadron. Mm. So maybe it does strike the right balance to have families on board. You know? I don't know. Maybe that's know. why in TNG they have families on board. That could be why in TNG they have families on board, is because it brings the crew. The crew doesn't need to worry about, like, I need shore leave. I need to go back home. Like, no, I am home. Yeah, I see my, my kids growing up right here. Yeah, they're going to school right here. Hmm. I have, hmm. you know, my family here. And 
yeah, I'm good. Maybe, maybe from deep space missions like this, this is why in the TNG they have Deanna Troy to be the ship's counselor. Oh, and they haven't implemented that yet in this could be in the in the, the regular what the original series or in this case the original series timeline. Mm-hmm. So time the, in the Kelvin timeline, but the original series time date. of date. Yeah, yeah, yeah star yeah, the date. date. There it is. Star date. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They haven't implemented the counselor yet, and. That'll help in the future. I like it. Okay. Yeah, Are we, yeah. We're explaining why there are families on the Enterprise. Yep. And Enterprise we're explaining D. Enterprise D. And some lessons learned from, like, maybe captains and officers are having mental problems. So throw a counselor on there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then it resolves some of the problems they've encountered for exploration missions in the past that have been implemented in the mm-hmm. TNG Deep Space Nine Voyager timeline or time date star date star date star date yep yep 2300 like whatever yep yeah mm-hmm. i like um, it um but put the counselor in a standard uniform yeah put the counselor in a standard uniform 